This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash Pablo Strong to get 10% off your first purchase. What you're up to today? Uh, yeah, we're here in Soho, yeah. London, I believe, and uh, we're, we're going to a few pubs, bars, with Bar Termina. I highly recommend it. I had, uh, well, I don't need to tell you what I had, but I had a few drinks there. Do you mind if I ask what you do? Yeah, sure. It's advertising and marketing with entertainment. So uh, when big brands want to use music, I work with them. Right, okay. Yeah, so a couple of good meetings here. Love London, fantastic city, a little expensive, and I'm a New Yorker, uh, but we'll get through it. Can I ask what you're up to today? Walking around, sort of, uh, enjoying the sun. You've got a free day today? Every day is free to me. Yeah. Do you not work? I do, yes. But it's still free. So you're a musician, are you? Well, I'm, I don't label myself as a musician. I don't like labels. I think the world's a bit crazy with labels at the moment. You know? it's that, that, nobody wants labels, but then they, they give you labels to give them, which I find very strange. It's very paradoxical. So I, I don't really belong in this world. If you know I don't really sort of subscribe to its uh, values. Okay. It, it, do, have you always felt like that? Always? More so recently. What cause I feel it? I think uh, the, the modern sort of... Uh, the modern disposable world we're in, uh, throw away, lack of any real sort of uh, 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 quality, and just being co- and just being consumers of <clears throat> all sorts of <clears throat> all sorts of crap. Why do you think that's that's prevalent today? <clears throat> I think it's because we're all doomed, and so we may as well just buy as much rubbish as we can because the end is nigh. <laughs> And I think it's, uh, and people know that in their hearts, <clears throat> that we're at the end of humanity. Can I ask, uh, what makes you most unhappy? A lack of love. Lack of love? Yeah. You know, just sort of, I mean, you can take that any way you like. I mean, because like, you know, music is love as well. Music is made with love. Food is made with love. Music made without love, people acting without love, treating each other without love. You know, I mean, it's a sort of, uh, yeah, that kind of makes you unhappy. An absence of that, there's a kind of sadness. Can I ask what makes you happy? Uh, you Little things, man. I like little things, little little occurrences, little. Uh, uh, yeah. I think every day, every day there's something. And if you think, if you think that the, the, the life is just that, if you've got too much expectations, you'll never, you'll never be really uh, happy. Can you think of one time in your life where you were the most happy? Uh, no, I can't really, because it uh, it shouldn't be measured. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't be sort of like, you know, it shouldn't be. Uh, uh, well, this is. Uh, that was really happy, so how am I going to live up to that? Or, you know, it's like marriages. I mean, you know, the bigger the marriage, the, you know, it's like, I mean, you know, the bigger the divorce or whatever, you know, it's like, it shouldn't be the happiest day of your life. It should be one of them, you know, or, or, or that sort of thing, I think. I, I mean, I don't know. Have you, you know? been married? No, no, I'm not stupid. I'm not. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the, like I said, I don't see the point in these, 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 uh, these human things. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I'm not human. I don't, is it humor? I don't know. It's more, I don't know, pleasing someone else. I don't know. I've not really thought about these things. I don't really feel associated with any of the values that that, that, that I see every day, you know. And, and I find, and I think it's generally a, a, a game. Meryl, I'm getting naked. 
Today I am still here for a film, uh, Rain Dance Film Festival. We are from Spain and we are showing uh, our film. Are you a director? No, I'm a, a, an actor, a principal or a major actor or whatever you, you say. What was your role in the film? Well, um, in the film, it's a great uh, question. Uh, I'm um, it's a undertaker. Oh yeah, so they yeah. take the coffins. Yeah, oh, right. uh, it's an undertaker uh, who lives uh, always uh, scarred uh, with the possibility uh, at uh, the some satellite fall into ah. him. Um, so he he's um, paranoid. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, he lives always. Uh, with a helmet, um, you know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. It's uh, I mean, it's a very surrealist and comedy film. What okay, makes you happy. Makes me happy. Wine, woman, uh, another W. Uh, <laughs> Winston, <laughs> Churchill. <laughs> What do you think is good about this city? The atmosphere, the sort of changing... The, well, it, it changes a lot. I mean, sometimes I don't like it, you know. And it's not just because I don't like it, it's sometimes it becomes ugly, you know. It goes through different... Everywhere does that, it goes through different periods. And at the moment, it's going through a really good period, you know, where, where it's beautiful. And there's a nice atmosphere, and everything's really busy, everyone's really interested, you know. There's a kind of, um, there's a sort of buzz in the air, and there's an excitement, a feeling of adventure. Even you know? though uh, many things in the world are, are bad at the moment? Uh, well, maybe especially because of that, you yeah. know. Uh, are you optimistic about the future? Well, what could somebody here and now, do you know what I mean? You know, it's like be here now, and, uh, rather than because uh, things are. I mean, the sort of things that happen that have you know happened in the last couple of years. They're sort of so completely unpredictable, so out of what everyone expected that uh, you just don't know what's going to happen. You know, uh, so. Um, but if you're here and now, you can deal with it. You know, the most unexpected things. You know, um, if you have a conceived idea of, oh well, you know, this will happen and this will happen, and obviously blah 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 blah, and probably none of those things are going to happen. Something else is going to happen that's going to, you know, what seems to be a logical uh, sequence of events. Is only based on the limited information you have, and there are all sorts of hidden things that are going to make themselves visible and change things. Oh, I'm going to be an optimist about this. Oh, I'm going to be an optimist about this. Oh, oh. I mean, most most of the people who are in power and tell you uh, tell you what you must do or what you should do. They, they, they get there just because they know someone. No politician has any, you know, one week it's, uh, you know, Minister of Health and then they're the Minister of Education the week after. They don't have to be, they're not qualified in that thing, they're just sort of, you know. So, same as Trump, perfect example, Theresa May, perfect example. There's nothing, there's nothing at all. It's just where you are, you know. But that affects other people who are not. That, that privilege to escape the, uh, the, mon mon you know, the mundane. Do you feel that that perspective, that uh, the authority is not really rooted in anything, do, do you feel that that um, come, has come from getting older? I, th I think, yeah, as you get older you sort of, you notice, but then when you actually, if you do a bit of research and if you have any, any interest in history, then you realise that, no, it's always been the same really. you unhappy? Unhappy? Oh, politicians, number one. Uh, uh, what else? 
a, a lot of things uh, <laughs> make me uh, angry every day. Small things, but uh, a lot of them. Can you give me uh, an example? Yeah, uh, birds. Birds. Uh, you know when when you are walking or when you are uh, having uh, a drink. Uh, uh, ah, Birds. Yeah, birds are dirty, dirty birds like uh, like they like lives uh, in the street and eat uh, trash, you know. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash pablostrong to get 10% off your first purchase.